So today I'm doing a muffin tin quiche. Um, and so I've got some egg substitute mixed with eggs here, some low fat uh, cheese, spinach, and onions, but you can really make this recipe your own. And you can really add in more vegetables. If you don't like onions, you can add mushrooms. Um, I've done it with salsa and it makes it really tasty. So you can really make it your own. Um, if you have kids, uh, grandkids around, they, it's really fun for them to kind of assemble their own uh, little baby quiche. Uh, and it's a lot easier than maybe doing individual omelets um, for some, but for your family, whoever you might be making it for. So first, I'm just going to chop some spinach. I just have baby spinach here, and I'm just going to uh, chop it a little bit just to make it fit in the muffin tins a little bit um, more easily. And then I'm just going to place that at the bottom of my muffin tin. And if you put the spinach on the bottom, the other foods that you're adding weigh it down a little bit. If you add the spinach last, sometimes it can stick out of the top and it'll get a little bit burnt in the oven. And I have some onions um, sauteing here and just a little bit of oil. And these really don't have to saute for very long. Um, it's just to kind of get a little bit of the crunch out so that they, you make sure that they get um, all the way done when you're baking them in the oven. <laughs> so now I'm just going to add in my sauteed onions into the muffin tin. <coughs> And then I'll top that with cheese and my egg substitute on top. So if you're using egg substitute, you can either use all egg substitute if you prefer. Um, but if you're not really used to that flavor yet, you still want to use some of the whole egg, you can do half whole egg and then the rest egg whites. I'm uh, using about two egg whites for every uh, whole egg that the recipe would have called for. Um, or you can buy the egg substitute as well. And you really, if you're only uh, making you know, enough for a fewer number of people, you wouldn't need to use the whole muffin tin. You can really cater it to the number of people that you have and, and really make it your own. So now I'm just adding some reduced fat cheese and I'll add this to each one. And then I'll top it with my egg mixture. You can just pour your egg mixture. I um, just kept it right in in my liquid measuring cup so that it's really it's a lot easier to pour. You can also use um, a smaller measuring cup or just a bowl that you would have that has a little spout on the end. And then I'll top that with a little salt and pepper. And then I'll put it in my preheated oven for 400 at 425 for 15 to 20 minutes. Um, it'll be a little bit brown on the top and they'll be firm, but just try not to overcook them. Um, but they'll, they'll get a little brown on the top and they'll continue cooking for a little bit in the tin afterwards. So leave it for about 10 minutes after it's done um, and then pull it out and they're really easy to serve. <laughs>